Hello everyone, so with the next expansion of FF14 being one half year away, it is time to prep for our crafters and gatherers mainly. The first thing that is really really important to prep is battle retainers. Battle retainers are gonna be extremely important because of skin and fleece materials. We all saw Stormblood launch. If you were playing during Stormblood launch, you saw how expensive these were. It's, they're still quite expensive to some degree, even to this day. Those Haugai mains and Manza series here. So, most likely there will be same type of materials for Weaver in the next expansion. So be sure to have at least one or two battle retainers ready at level 70. So you can start leveling them with your main job as soon as the expansion launches. And make sure that the battle retainer is a job that you're going to level your main character first in the, in the next expansion because retainers level with you and it needs to be the same job for example if you're level 70 scholar your retainer won't be able to reach 71 scholar if your retainer is scholar as well so be sure it's the same as your main job The next important thing is crafter and gatherer materia, be sure to prep them and to easily prep for materia they have reduced the cost with red and yellow scripts. They used to cost for grade 5 500 red scripts, it's now only 200. So and to get scripts easily weekly, do your custom deliveries, they give a lot of scripts. And they recently in patch 4.5 just added a new custom delivery so it makes it only easier to hoard some material. In one half year, we're speculating the expansion is coming out in June or July. So in one half year we're going to accumulate a lot of material. They also reduced the cost for the grade 6 material as well with the yellow scripts. It used to cost 1500, it cost only 500 now. So it's really cheap now and if you have some gill you could also buy some on the market or if you find them cheap. I would say if you find grade 6 for 50k or less buy them and they're going to probably add grade 7 materia in the next expansion so we could transmute 5 grade 6 to get a grade 7. It's RNG of course, but if you find trash grade 6 like the useless piety, skill speed or whatever else, vitality, strength grade 6 or intelligence grade 6, use, use those. You're probably gonna get them from the new Eureka, from Eureka Totems. So just don't transmute them yet, save them for the next expansion. You might get some really expensive grade 7 crafter or gatherer material out of them. Same for gatherer by the way. The way I do collectibles, custom deliveries, is if I see a bonus, I prioritize that. So for example I see Zloe has a bonus, so that gives the most yellow scripts, I do that one. You have 12 allowances, so it, it means 6 of 2 of the clients. So just prioritize the bonus one, even if it's the gatherer over crafter. Most people prefer to do crafter ones, because gatherer it just costs time, it doesn't cost any guild to get. But I would just prioritize bonus first over everything. The next important thing to prep is decent. And most importantly, Weaver and Leather Worker. Now, I have my Weaver Decent on my second character, so that's why it's zero, level 0 here. But Weaver is mostly important because in Stormblood we had these... We go to purchase Tradecraft gear. We could take these belts, the Twin Silk and Search. We could take them and Decent them and get the search, Step Search material, which costed... 60k each at the beginning of Stormblood, sometimes six, sometimes even over 100k each, at least in my server. And it cost only 13k to buy one, and sometimes 
gives two step surges. So imagine the profit you could have made back in Stormblood launch. So be sure to have Weaver decent up for the next big belt <laughs> that's gonna come out next expansion for the next important if so rare expensive surge that we're gonna get next expansion same for twin seal and leather worker had the same thing if you go to field craft gear we could have taken the belts the gazelle skin and tiger skin and so on so you will uh, avoid farming a lot of skins this way just get them through get the materials through decent so decent is really really important as i said especially nether worker and weaver uh, after that i would say blacksmith as well because the main story quest gave a lot of weapons okay it gave it like the market got saturated with all of these weapons that people didn't use that the main story quest give so what I did is I bought all the cheap ones and decent them for ingots got some ingo easy ingots that way and if you need decent guides I have all decent guides for almost every class so I will link them in the video description the next important thing to prep is gatherer collectibles I know that they're going to nerf the XP you get from them, but they're not going to nerf the scripts that you get. So what happened was, we prepped gatherer collectibles, like to refill two retainers with them, and as soon as Stormblood launched, we handed them all in. As soon as Stormblood launched, we already had enough scripts to buy all of the four folklore books for botanist and miner so it's really a good head start if you have time to fill at least two retainers with gatherer collectibles i'm going to fill four retainers up this time so i'm going to do for miner palladium ore and chromite ore actually it's better to do just palladium ore because that one gets the star and toria log so as soon as Shadowbringers launch, which is the next expansion's name, as soon as that launch, the expansion launches, I'm gonna hand them in. Right, I'm not gonna hand them in if they don't have a star. Assuming this co the collectible page stays the same thing by then. If not, I'll just uh, make an update video letting you know it's not the same anymore. But as of it looks now, it's gonna be Toria log, and I'll only hand them in when expansion launches when they get star, so you don't lose out on some scripts. And same for Palladium Ore. So what I'm gonna do is sub for two extra retainers or four extra retainers and just fill them up with uh, these collectibles two months prior to the expansion. I'm gonna start live streaming all of that process, so yeah, that's in the plans. As for scripts, it wouldn't hurt to cap red and yellow scripts going into the expansion. What happened at the beginning of Stormblood was that whatever blue scripts we had, we were be able to convert them into red. Blue is no longer used anymore. As you can see, it's still there, but it's zero out of 2000. So they're most gonna likely add an, uh, a new color of scripts in the next expansion and remove red and you will be able to convert red into yellow. So the new color will be the new best script. So it's not that bad of an idea to have a head start on some scripts and just cap at 2000 for red and yellow, I would say. As for crafter and gatherer food, I wouldn't prep them because what happened in Stormblood, we were be able to buy N cube tempura platters, which was a new crafter food back then. N cube for, for cheap from the vendor, from a new vendor in the new city, which was Kugane. So I'm speculating they're gonna add new good food N cube to a new vendor in the next expansion. So I wouldn't worry too much about prepping gatherer and crafter food i mean have like 
10 to 20 of the best ones like matcha and for gatherer something that you like or for example this one so that's that case for food that's pretty much all I have in mind to prep for now. If you have any good suggestions of things to prep that I didn't mention, please leave them in the comments. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please like, favorite, subscribe and share the video. And if you enjoy this content, please support on Patreon or Twitch or you can support for free just by sharing the video. And I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.